Hello, my name is Kelly Antone, PLC Training Instructor with PCC. In this lesson, we're going to cover conversion operations. Now I will open up the main program block, OB1. Then I'm going to collapse all of the networks from the previous lessons and expand out network 4. Over in the instructions area, under basic instructions, there is a section that's called conversion operations. In here, there are various conversion operations or instructions available. Let's drag out the convert instruction and bring that into ladder. This allows you to convert from one data type to another. So I'm going to go from an integer to a real value. On the input side, I'm going to enter in an integer tag. So I'll just start typing the first few letters of the tag. On the output side, I am going to select a real tag. So I'll start typing like R, and that will bring in a tag that starts with the letter R. So I'm going to convert an integer to a real. Let's bring in another convert instruction. This time, we're going to convert from an integer to a BCD number. So on the input side, I'm going to select an integer tag. I'll pick the same tag, int num1. On the output side, I'm going to enter in a tag for to store the BCD represented number, but this tag does not yet exist in this project. So I'm going to call it BCD out. You'll see the red squiggly lines. The tag is not defined, so I will right click on the tag and select define tag. In the section here, I'm going to pick global memory and it will pick the next available M address. I'm going to use the word data type because there's not a BCD data type inside the controller. So I'm going to enter in a comment here to indicate that as well, and then I will click define. This creates the BCD tag. Next, I will go over to the project tree under watch and force tables and add in a new watch table. Then I will float the watch table so that I will be able to see the watch table as well as letter logic at the same time. So I will reposition the watch table and then resize it so that I can see both ladder and data in the watch table. In the name section here, the first tag that I'm going to enter in is going to be my integer tag. Then I'm going to change the display format to be decimal, and I'm going to enter in the BCD tag as well. And then we'll also view that in a decimal representation. Next, I will add in the integer tag again. Then I will add in my BCD tag again. Now I will change the display format to be binary for my integer num tag. And I will also change the BCD tag to be in a binary representation so that we can see the result of the conversions. So I'm just highlighting my PLC and I'm going to select my download button. This will compile and download the project into the PLC. So I will select load. Now I will go up and select monitor all so I can monitor the ladder logic. And then I will select my watch table and also select the monitor button so that I can view data inside the watch table. Now I will enter a value, an integer number in, so I will modify the operand, and I will enter in the value of 10. And when I do that, the integer is going to be converted into a real number with the first instruction. The second instruction, the integer number will be converted into a BCD represented number, and if you look at the binary bit patterns, you can see the difference. Next, I'm going to go offline, then move over to the instructions area. Again, you can see all the different conversion operations that are available to you. Now I will change the pane mode so that I can see all of the instructions from a single folder in the instructions area. Under date and time, as an example, you'll see that there is an instruction, tconvert, uh, that allows you to convert time data. I will minimize that folder and expand out string and char. You'll see that there is a variety of conversion operations available for working with strings and characters. This concludes the lesson on conversion operations.